Hey you guys, happy, happy Tuesday. I'm using my homebody mug. This mug will be back in the shop um, probably this second or third week in March. So look out for it. All right, let's do this. Good morning, beautiful. How you doing? I think my dog's about to come over here. Using my homebody mug. And I'm just making a simple little white chocolate latte. Simple lattes are my favorite with this pure deli. So let me grab a pod. Here's this pie place pod. Um, so I wanted to do a recap of uh, my February planning because I did switch up my planner style in February. Um, well, I didn't switch up my planner style. I incorporated my A5 planner, of which has been such a lifesaver. It's been a lifesaver incorporating this planner because my main planner is a daily planner. So it's a daily booked uh, spiral bound planner. I love the planner and it really serves its purpose as far as keeping me present on my desk, being able to map out uh, my day um, with work and follow-ups, mom life. It's perfect for my day-to-day. But this is what I need for the organization of my life. <laughs> and this is so perfect. Um, so what I did was, I'm just gonna pop one of these out while that's brewing. Um, so what I did was go to a, a simpler weekly um, insert process. So this just has uh, my important dates, my day-to-day -day tasks, and this week's priorities, and then a to-do list on the back with another top priorities list, which is perfect that it has two top priorities. Um, just because I can make this like an overall goal for myself, and I can make this specific to whatever I have going on this week. Eek, didn't mean to throw that. But this is a lot simpler than the weeklies that I was using last year, and I'm so happy. I think it worked out perfectly. It really, really supported me and allows me to see my week ahead. Um, and as it's unfolding, just so I don't miss anything. Because with a daily planner for me, it's easy to miss things. I don't know. Do you daily or weekly plan, um, Tanika? Hey, Sadia girl, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, my coffee is brewing, so let me slide y'all over here too. Um, I am doing a little bit of planner talk, uh, talking about Oh yeah, that looks great. Talking about how we, or how I, um, how my new process benefited me last month because I added in my A5 planner, which I always have, but the both daily is mostly for work. Yes, I don't know why it took me so long to get that. You see how you just like, bam, daily is for work. I was literally, I'm still putting together a work planner like for my for processes purposes, you know, just to have a planner with my processes at home so I don't have to keep going to the OneNote um, when I'm questioning things, going in class. Yeah. Love you. Um, just so I don't have to keep questioning things, but it finally clicked. Like I'm so happy because I can organize my day, remember meetings. I don't have to rely on the one note. I mean, the Outlook calendar for my meetings. I'm just so happy about that. Um, so yes, so I'm starting to use my daily planner for work, and I I don't know why I always felt like you know like I need a dedicated work planner. Um, when I really just need to use my daily planner more efficiently. So I'm so happy that, um, Sadia, so what type of planner um, system do you use if you're able to, um, to say? What do you use? Do you use a, a weekly, daily? Are you just, are you a monthly planner and you only plan the months ahead? Because some people do that. They only plan the months because daily and weekly planning is too meticulous for them. So I'm just wondering. What type of planners are you? So this looks lovely. I'm gonna flip this over. And then I'll also give you guys a look inside my planner so I can see what it looked like this month. But I love this. This is a 7.7 .7 ounce pie that brewed in this cup. And look at all the space that's left. Love it. Um, and my milk is frothing over there. So while I'm waiting on that to finish frothing, 
I'll just do a quick flip through this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna go, here's my monthly. So I got these inserts in January, um, which, so I just decorated the outside, but I didn't plan in it. And then this is February, which came out so cute. I used some little magic print stickers and it just came out so super cute. And then this um, is my monthly review. Y'all, I love the monthly review sections. I'm just starting to love them. And what I learned last month is if I stop to smell the roses, they will bring me joy. And then I can continue on my journey forward and, pleasant, and pleasantly pleased. Yeah, I can continue. Like stopping to smell the roses won't set me back. It's not a setback. It's just me enjoying, you know, like the time that I have. So I love that. I love, 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 love that. Um, and that's what I learned from last month. Um, and then this is my March. I love this sticker. Like, look at that. So cute. And then this has never stopped growing. And then I'm going to put my focus for the month. But I love these little stickers. And I like how she incorporated. Mika, get out the fridge, girl. I like how she incorporated the um, cheetah print with the floral. I think that is so cute. Um, and then this is my February weeklies. So I added these little meal planner um, flyaways that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this is the week. And this was so cute, I thought. Oh, and I just finished this book, which talking about tracking your time and making the most of your week like i had to just go ahead and put this back down that book 168 hours by laura vandekam it is really just breaking down like how to i mean we know how to live intentionally you know plan the things that you love but it al allows you to break it down and just give a lot more thought to it um which is why I put it on my reading list because she talks about having your core competencies. She talks, she has another book um, called, oh, What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast. <gasps> and then she talks about putting your life together like mosaic tiles and then like literally forgetting the rest because the people that paint those tiles, they don't have time to do nothing else. They're focused on one tile at a time. And that's really how our life should be. So I have been applying that. Um, this was the week of February 7th. So I've been listening to this book since February 7th. And I've really been applying like drown out everything and just focus on my goals, which is another reason that I switched to this planning style because I needed something simpler that would help me just outline. Like I didn't need all the space that I had last last. Um, last year in my weekly. So I feel like it came across really um, good and that that is a good book. So if you guys are looking for a book, listen to 168 Hours by Laura Vanderkam. You have more time than you think. And it's really just letting you know like the whole week is 168 hours. So like, what exactly are you doing? Like to where you're so tired, you're, you're complaining because you can't get sleep, you know? But come on mama. Come on, blah, 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 blah. Like, what exactly are you doing with your time? And it really encourages you, encourages you to make a time diary and just make the most of your hours. So if you're looking for something to give you that good kick and motivation, listen to that book. Um, okay, so back to, ooh, but look at the coffee though, real fast. Ew, she came through dripping, drip, drip, you know what I'm Okay, boom. So then that was this week. And then look, update work planner, cause I started making a work planner and then we went on a trip to Virginia. This is so cute. Like I love these little boot um, with the roses in them. I love, I always love this art. Pretty much no matter how it's done, I always love it. Um, and then this was my Valentine's, another week, fly away, some to do's. And I got this insert, um, this one from Scribbles by KP. And this one I thought was so cute. Like, look at this kissy washi. It's like a, a pinkish gold, like a pink hollow. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Hold on, let me go back and take it off of here. Hey, Jay. The dogs are looking for you. But it looks so pretty. <laughs> um, and then that says self-love. 
And then on the back, though, is where the party is. Like, look at how cute that is. So cute. And then this is my weekly mom reset. I realized um, to write down the routines that I have. So then when I don't do them, I won't be so confused. Like, why am I feeling all crazy? <laughs> so this is something that I do every week. Um, I update our command center. I uh, update the weekly board. So I have a board in my room and then I have a board in our command center. And then I have um, to update my planners. And then once I do that, I feel better. Um, so that was my February inside my A5. I just wanted to hop on and share that with you guys while I'm making coffee or whatever. So let me grab a straw so I can taste this coffee. To do, to do, to do. To do, to do, to do, to do, or maybe no straws. Maybe no straws. Oh, and I dropped the spoon. Okay. There we go. No, no straws. I don't know where they disappeared to. Okay, so let's taste it. Bam. I'm just gonna add some agave. I didn't add any yet. Stir it up at the bottom and let's drink it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. It did what it came to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, that's so good. Okay, so that is my March planner update or my February recap. I'm a, um, and I, you guys did get to see my monthly for March. So I'm just gonna, you know, get into March, keep this same process going. Um, I Once I plan March, then I'll get back on here and kind of talk through my goals and things like that. But for now, I think that I have a good foundation. And that is what I was hoping to start the new year with. I honestly believe the new year starts in March. So I was looking um, to, you know, just find my, my process, my flow for 2022, because seems like it's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get my flow down um, so that I can feel comfortable with my planning system. So thank you ladies for hanging out with me and making coffee and listening to me ramble about planners. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday and that you make it feel like love. Tuesday is action day. So do something that you want to do to get off your to-do list or do some sh something that you usually don't have the gumption to do and you're just, Hey, love. Uh, I just did a flip through and everything, but I'm about to hop off. I'm going to, um, that's something that I need to also do. I start timing these lives. So if you guys are on here, if you can DM me, like what time in the morning is a good time to go live? I would greatly appreciate that. I'm going to ask a stick.